All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I do have a little bit of a different video when it comes to skincare, okay? So I've been seeing milky toners everywhere, and I'm just like, what is it? What is the hype? You know, I wanna get into it, and I'm not sure if it's the name or the texture or what it looks like, but something about it intrigues me, seriously. So I have two popular ones right here for you guys. I have the Thayer's Hydrating Milky Toner. This is what it looks like. It's more of the drugstore affordable option. And I do have the Fenty Skin Fat Water, but this is your Hydrated Milky Toner Essence, okay? So these two are gonna be in comparison. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it, which one I recommend, all of that. Um, and just see if they're a dupe for one another. So if you're interested, of course, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's jump into a video. So like I mentioned to you guys, I do have the two Milky Toners here from Thayer's and Fenty Skin. And in case you guys don't know, when it comes to Milky Toners, the reason why a lot of people love them is because it hydrates your skin. Especially if you do have dry skin and you guys watch my videos, you already know that I do have very oily skin, but I still love to hydrate, okay? My skin still needs it. But also, I do live in the South, so it's a little bit cold right now with the fall time. Um, and my skin starts to like peel around my eyes and on my face a little bit. So having hydrating products like these make my life 10 times easier because they really do plump my skin, okay? So what I wanna do before I apply them on the face is tell you guys, you know, the prices, how much you get with them, the ingredients and all of that, and then we'll jump into the demo. So for Thayer's, we do have their Hydrated Milky Toner. This has snow mushroom in there and hyaluronic acid. And this, you do get about um, 12 fluent ounces for $15, okay? And just to mention with Thayer's, one thing I love about them is they have snow mushroom. And I was like, what is that? Okay. Okay, because I was reading the reviews and a lot of people kept mentioning, oh my gosh, I'm so happy it has snow mushroom. So I read into it and basically it helps to produce collagen, you know, in your skin. And I'm like, I love that because if you guys don't know, collagen is really great at making your skin, you know, super supple. It's just making your skin look great overall. And the fact that this helps to prolong that um, and also aid in the production of having great skin, I mean, who wants to complain about that? So Fenty Skin, you do get um, five fluent ounces for $32. So that right there, I was like, whoa, you get about half the product um, for a little bit more of the price, you know, but totally fine. Um, but this also in here, it does have hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and a couple other things she did mention in here, which I do want to read to you guys. So it has um, Barbados Cherry, Kalahari melon and green tea extracts, which helps to soften and condition the skin and also nourish the skin. And you guys know hyaluronic acid helps to hydrate the skin, which they both have. But then um, Fenty does have niacinamide, which I love because it helps to get rid of dark spots and hyperpigmentation on the skin. So I love that. So we talked about the price. We talked about the claims. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and get into is a Thayer's Milky Toner. Now this one I have been using for some time, but I will leave my thoughts, you know, towards the end of the video. So this is what it looks like up close in case you guys are wondering. All right. It does have that milky color, which really intrigued me. Um, and I will show you guys what it looks like once you go ahead and apply it. So First things first, I love the texture. I love how creamy it is. It's a little bit more thicker than I thought, okay? Um, yes, it is watery, but it does have a little bit more just thickness to it. That's the best way to explain it. Um, so at first, I was using this with a pad, but I realized the pad kind of takes away from the hydrate and purpose of, you know, the toner. So what I do is I go ahead and use my fingers. So all you do is apply this into the skin, almost like lotion, I wanna say, all right? And you apply it everywhere that you need to hydrate. And with this one, it does take a little bit more time to rub into the skin, but I don't mind it because I know by the time I let it sit into the skin, it makes it super um, plump, which I really like. So we're gonna apply this all over on just this side. Now you guys know with skincare, it does take some time to actually see the benefits, but I will say with toners, it's a lot faster. Honestly, after a day or so, you can kind of tell what it will do for your skin. 
So here it is. And the reason why I love this, y'all, is because number one, okay? I was afraid that I go ahead and put this on and I'm just gonna look like a grease ball, but it actually dries down, okay? It dries down a little bit tacky, but you can tell right away it just hydrated my skin compared to this side right here, okay? So we're gonna let that sit, really dry into the skin. And this product, honestly, I love to apply it at night and wake up in the morning because it really just sits in the skin overnight. And then when you wake up, um, your skin just looks glowy. It looks refreshed. It's prepped for makeup. I just love this. So this is what it looks like, okay? Um, and in case you guys are wondering, again, I will show you guys the texture up close if my camera doesn't blind it but you can see what that looks like in case you were wondering. So next up is Fenty Skin. All right, this is their fat water and I'll hold it back here because my light blinds everything, okay? So with this one, I really love the packaging. I think it's so fun that you can just twist it. I don't know why I love that. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this one's texture is like, okay? So I'm assuming that it's gonna be super watery which it is okay compared to um theirs so i'll do it for you guys one more time in case you didn't see that all right and yes i do feel like it's a little bit less opaque compared to theirs because theirs has like that straight up white milky texture this one's a little bit more of like an off-white but it's totally fine um i just want to tell you guys everything in case you are wondering so with this one we're gonna go ahead and apply it to this side and it is my first time using it okay so these are my um this is my first impressions to you guys so mm, number one it has a scent to it and it reminds me of something. Oh my goodness. Um, it is bringing me to my childhood and I cannot put my finger on it, y'all. And it's frustrating me because I love this smell. Mm, okay, let me stop. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna apply this all over. And I love how this one feels as well, okay? It feels so good super hydrating all right i'm gonna apply it on my forehead as well but yeah this one feels really good on the skin and i like how it dries down too maybe it's a thin with milky toners but you expect your skin just to look so like um glowy and radiant you know what i mean right after but it's not like that it really soaks into the skin which I think is the main purpose because it wants to hydrate your skin from the inside out. So I will go ahead and tap this now. And it does get a little bit tacky too, just like the Thayer's one. They both feel so similar and it's always important to press it into the skin just to really push everything in there. Ooh, this feels so good. Okay, so first impressions comparing the two, I will say they feel the same, they apply the same on the face, and they both get tacky as well, which I like. Um, and you can tell they both hydrate the skin, like I told you guys, you're not like super glowy or anything like that, because it does wanna soak into the skin, all right? But I will say the Fenty side looks a little bit more radiant than the Thayer side, okay? If y'all can see that, I feel like it's a little bit more radiant than this side. So what I'm gonna do is come up a little bit closer so y'all can see what the skin is looking like. I think it looks so good, you guys, okay? Of course, compared to before, my skin was super dry, but now it just looks so radiant. And I love it, I love it for that purpose. So this is what it looks like now on the skin obsessed so what i'm gonna do is let this sit on my skin for about an hour and so and i'll come back and show you guys what that looks like okay because i want to give them both a fair shot and see just what it does to the skin so i'll be right back so i am back it's been about like an hour and 30 minutes okay so 
this is what the skin looks like and i do have my final thoughts on both these toners right here so number one milky toners literally give you a filter on your skin. I don't know what it is, y'all, but when I look in the mirror after I apply it, I always feel like my skin looks so good to the point where I don't even need to wear foundation that day. Seriously, I don't know what's in there. It's so weird what it does to the skin, but it genuinely gives you like a filter on your skin and I love that. Like your pores almost disappear. Everything looks flawless. So that's probably my favorite thing about this. Um, number two, it really does hydrate your skin and makes it, you know, really plump, you know, supple. I'm trying to find all the good words to give y'all, but it just does what it needs to do for the skin. And it just looks so nice, glowy, hydrated, obsessed with it, okay? Now, when it comes to which one is the best, okay, it's hard to say because they both have their own set of ingredients and it just depends on what you want in your skin, okay? So if you want your skin to be hydrated, have a little bit of um, benefits when it comes to hyperpigmentation and all of that, I think this one will be for you because it does have that niacinamide in there, okay? Now, if you want a little bit more collagen in your skincare, but you still wanna be hydrated, of course, then theirs would be the best option for you, all right? But disregarding all of that, you guys, I really feel like they kind of do the same exact thing. They both hydrate the skin, they both make it look good. It just comes down to price and how much you get for it. So when it comes to that category, I think Tayers like absolutely kills it. This is $15 and you get about 12 fluid ounces. Like you get a lot of product in here. Whereas with Fenty, this is 32 and you get five fluent ounces in this one. So right off the bat, I'm just like, all right, you know, um, if you're trying to save a little bit of money, all right, I will go with this one. Honestly, I think it's the best bang for your buck. But if you're trying to really decide which one is the best, just look at the ingredients and see what your um, skin needs and kind of go off of that, okay? But they're both great, they're both awesome. I'm obsessed with it. This is something I'm definitely going to keep in my skincare routine because I just never thought I needed this, especially as somebody who does have oily skin. But whenever I look at my skin after I apply a milky toner, I'm just like, wow, it looks so good. It looks so freaking good. So I want you guys to get that same feeling as well, okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed my video. This one was super fun. Um, of course, let me know your thoughts. If you've tried both or one of the other, just let me know which one is your favorite. So, I think a lot of people are going to be looking for that in the comment section. So, make sure you go ahead and do that. But before you leave, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one.